place where you're not supposed to make it out of the odds are against you. Can you dig it? I felt like I was gonna be a star one day. Oh! Oklahoma City Thunder select James Harden of Arizona. Here comes James Harden. Uh, did this surprise you, or did the people in the inner circles of the NBA see this coming? Who comes out better here? I think the Oklahoma City Thunder comes out better. No disrespect to James Harden. He ain't Kevin Durant. Harden struggles with his dribble, pulls back, knocks it down at the buzzer. Will the Thunder regret this journey? Sam Presti called me and just said that, sorry we love you, but, you know, we traded you to the Houston Rockets. Time scorer. His step back, Jay, is deadly. We feel like uh, James Harden is a player we can build around um, and continue to improve the team. I think he deserves to be ranked in the top 10 talent wise. When they see him step into the role of the star of the Houston Rockets, people are going to realize just how good he is. I'm the best all around basketball player in the NBA. He's a leader. <clears throat> He's an elite offensive player. We can have something special here. You know, we're young. Um, those guys want to work and get better, so um, we're going to take days at a time. And the beard has taken flight. Takes it inside. Lays it up. Steph Curry for the 2014-15 Kia MVP award. I'm watching the Houston Rockets. Yeah. Okay, you got to take me inside this. You cannot be this good one night and this lousy the next. What is going on with that franchise that is loaded with players? The team was not responding to what the team was doing. Kevin McHale led the Rockets to, what, the number two seed in the West last year. Kevin McHale led them to a Western Conference Finals appearance. It starts with your leader. What's the leader on the Rockets? I certainly wasn't enamored with the job that Mike D'Antoni was doing in New York, but at the same time, I, I don't want to vilify the man. I, I think he knows a thing or two about basketball. I don't ignore, nor have I forgotten the fact that he averaged 58 wins a season. James Harden, he's a gifted passer. He's not a, he's not a natural point guard, right. but he can really pass the ball. Uh, we want to thank you guys for the continuous support. 
Oh, it's gonna be a humble year, and we just do it all year. You're gonna be handling it from a jump now. What do you think about that? Um, just a lot of trust. Uh, you know, my teammates trusted me to, to, to make the right decision, you know, whether it's scoring or whether it's, it's making a play, but. These few days has been uh, unbelievable. And, uh, you know, my job is to go out there and just uh, create, <laughs> create it. James Harden is a superstar. He's averaging 30 and 13 and 8. We know he could do this. We knew he could do this because he played the point sometimes when he was in Oklahoma City. And in the end, when we look at this Houston Rockets team, I just think they're ill-equipped to compete for a championship. They're not relevant in a championship picture. Uh, when you look at Golden State, when you look at San Antonio, when you look at the Clippers, they're clearly the three teams to beat, and then there's everybody else. And if you're going to look at somebody on the outside looking in, I'm going to look at Oklahoma City. Houston has James Harden, who is a superstar offensive player, fresh off an of average of 29, seven and a half and six. This brother is legit. He's big time. He's an offensive juggernaut, no doubt about it. But the Houston Rockets are not going to be good enough to warrant him getting strong MVP consideration. This is a complete 180 degree turnaround. James Harden's a superstar, man. This, this brother's on another level. He's got them on pace to win about 62 games, which is unbelievable. Mike D'Antoni is brought in, hands the point guard spot to James Harden. Harden is taking B minus players and making them B plus yes. players. Man, we're, we're a resilient team. We're fairly new. We work extremely hard. The Rockets moved to 12 and 7, and after the Warriors have beaten Houston 16 of the last 18 times. James Harden and Russell Westbrook's expectations were on par until the season played out and we saw how exponentially better Houston was. MVP? No. Although he is running that system like to perfection right now, I just don't think he's the best player in the league. I think this is what D'Antoni does. D'Antoni is a coach for a team that maybe has a chance to win 45 plus games, be exciting, have highlights on Sports Center all the time, have the 
you know, have the country talking about them, the NBA talking about them, but ultimately not play enough defense to advance very far in the playoffs. It's entertaining. It's a good marriage to, to, to appease James Harden, but it's not going to facilitate a star of his caliber capturing a championship. That system's not going to work for that, particularly with him at the point guard spot. Other people are going to get involved naturally, but it's not going to be because James Harden is back there trying to be Chris Paul. James Harden, so you know. LeBron is better than you. Durant is better than you. Russell Westbrook is better than him. James Harden, Check. okay? Steph I Curry, Check. my man, my favorite player, yeah. is better. Downtown, up oh, at the buzzer! And James Harden does not play defense. Oh! A tomahawk slam by James Harden! James, how, how would you explain uh, what happened to, to you guys tonight? How do you explain Harden's performance? He choked. How much blame does Harden deserve for this? You know, it, it hurts, these things, but this lion, he's the king of the jungle. Huge man. But the problem with James Harden is he's what I would call a dead-end player. Jackals, hyenas, barking at him, laughing at him. But he's simply not good enough as that guy to win you a championship. And it was those with the food that's in his domain. They do this, and they get closer and closer and closer. Till one day, that lion gets up and tears the shit in every day. The Tomahawk jam by James Harden. It's rejected by James Harden. Runs like the wind, eats everything in his back. Every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. Steps back and fires. And he fouls! And it counts! Because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion.